Hi guys, uh, today I'm doing a look with this palette Reloaded Icon Vitality from Makeup Revolution. It's a dupe for ABH Modern Renaissance. So I don't know if you've seen it on IG, but I bought uh, this one and that one that's a dupe for Subculture palette. And today I'm doing this and uh, that dupe for Subculture palette. I'm saving for a full face of first impressions or testing new makeup, uh, some kind of uh, that video. So uh, let's start with this one. First I will prime my lids with this uh, Makeup Revolution eye primer. I'll set it with this shade from uh, Reloaded Palette. It seems like it has a bit of shimmer, but I think it's matte once you blend it. Yes. Oh no, it has a bit of shimmer, but nothing major. So my last look was a purple rose gold look, so I won't, I think I won't be using this purple and these two pink shades but I'm sticking with these neutrals and for my transition I'll first start with this shade I'm actually impressed that I could even see this because it's a very light shade but it's actually really pigmented and it looks really nice it's great transition shade. Now I'll mix these two shades and blend it also in my crease, but just a bit lower from that transition. This blended like a dream. I didn't do anything. And now with a smaller uh, blending brush, I'll use this shade also in my crease. So I'm bringing it even lower from that two shades before in my crease. And I'm a bit blending it in my outer V. I want to use this gold shade. Oh, it's very, very soft. Let me swatch it. Oh, this is beautiful. This is just one swipe and one swipe. And I think I'll apply it. Actually, let me try it with brush. I mean, it's okay, but. I think it's better with finger. Now I'm uh, going back with that last matte shade, orange shade we used. And I'll just blend this. For today, I decided to go uh, with this eye primer under my eyes because I did uh, that in my past, but I forgot it. So it's it's meant to uh, prevent creasing, and I need that also under my eyes. So why not? I didn't try this under my eyes, but I tried that uh, from Catrice. I don't know what what's called, but it's in the matte matte bottle no not bottle it has a matte packaging and actually i think it was better under my eyes than on my lids and now i go with concealer first i'm using wet and wild for the focus in the shade light to medium beige and it's a bit too orange for me 
but I couldn't find anything with olive or a bit more yellowy undertone. So I'll use a bit of uh, MAC Waterweight uh, concealer in the shade NC20 just to get a bit more coverage and a bit more yellowness. I always use too much of this because this blends everywhere and I always end up using this as my foundation, not my concealer. And I'll set it now with the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. Now for the under eyes, uh, I first I'll use this orange shade and I'll blend it like two thirds or three quarters of my outer eye. I will mix these two shades and I will blend this orange shade. Now for highlight, of course, I'm using Mary Lou from the Balm. And I'll use it also to highlight my inner corners. To highlight my brow bone, I'll use this white, pink, yellow shade. It's this. Actually, I'll mix this also with my Mary Lou. Now for a bit of contour, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, contour kit and I'll mix these two shades. Bronze up a bit, I leave this Wet n Wild Contour Kit. It's in the shade Caramel Toffee. I line my lash line with this Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner. And to coat my lashes, uh, lashes, I'm using a L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic Mascara. Oh, this is completely dry, so I'll use this Catrice Rocature. And uh, lastly for my lips, I'm using those of colors uh, liquid lipstick in the shade Sand. And guys, this is the completed look. I hope you like it. Just to say a few words about this palette. I haven't tried a lot of these shades. But I'll swatch a bit of them. This one and this one. Look at this. This, I don't know, this. I like it even more now uh, when I saw these swatches. This look on my eyes, it's nothing major, it, it's just like simple everyday makeup look. I could have done a bit smokier look, 
for example this brown shade or even this black shade and these shades I used they were very soft very blendable very pigmented and they didn't have a lot of fallout so I think this palette is great it uh, it's like I don't know seven euros or or seven pounds I'm not sure but I think it's worth it and I will definitely recommend it to you guys and that's it so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share it with friends comment something if you want and of course subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching bye